Hey everyone, it's Lauren Messiah, and today we are jumping into a brand new style series. Yay! This style series is a little different than anything we've done before. Uh, it's a little similar to my style type series, which if you haven't checked that out, please do. The style type series is all about identifying your sense of style. You can combine style types, you can create your own, but it's a really helpful guideline to getting your personal style in order. But today, we're doing something called the anti-style types. These are the style types that you want to avoid at all cost. These are bad, not good. Now, I can already hear your comments in my head about how mean this series is, this is horrible. Have a sense of humor, people. This series is meant to inform, it is meant to make you laugh, and for some people, it might serve as a little mirror to be like, oh, I'm kind of that style type, and maybe I should stop. We're gonna get into the psychological reasons that you may be in this anti-style type, and I'm gonna give you solutions so you can get the heck out of it, all right? So, sense of humor, sense of humor. The first style type is what I call Dated Debbie, okay? Who is Dated Debbie? Dated Debbie is a woman who hasn't shopped in years. I'm not talking like one or two years, I'm talking like a decade. So in all of my years of personal styling, cleaning out closets, working with clients, I have come across quite a few Dated Debbies. Dated Debbies have let life just go. Like the just the hands on the clock are just woo, they're just going round and round. And Dated Debbie forgot to shop. So her clothes are like old, okay? They're not in style. The colors are just off because they're from a different era, okay? The fit is funky, the fabric is stiff. It's just not a good look. And I bet you've come across a few dated Debbies in your life where they could be a decade behind, they could even be two or three. It's like the women who you see in those really like horrible track suits, not even like the, you know, early 2000 track suits, like not even the Juicy Couture, but like before that. Like the crazy like fake Versace scarf print. Yeah, those like some 80s type of stuff. Those are dated Debbies. They were like, it worked then, it's still good now, I've been busy living life, I'm still gonna wear it. And they walk around and people are looking at them like, whoa, what time machine did you crawl out of? So that is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a dated Debbie. So how did Data Debbie even get here and what's really going on with her? Well, obviously, you know, life has passed her by. Now, you might look and think, well, you know, Data Debbie doesn't have the money to shop or she doesn't have the time to shop, so she's just still wearing that. Lauren, who cares? It's still good, it's not falling apart. Why not? Dude, what's really going on is Data Debbie has put everyone and everything before her and she hasn't been paying attention to her life and how her life is progressing so she's literally just crystallized and has stayed stuck she put her family's needs before her own um, you know her husband her children her career the renovations on the house the trip to Disney World that everybody wanted to take instead of investing in herself her happiness her wardrobe and she didn't even take the time to think about what her wardrobe could do for her. So the place that Data Debbie is in is she's stuck not only just physically in her clothes, but mentally, and she could even be like harboring some low key resentments at all of her other priorities because she just feels that she has to be last on the list 
when really Debbie needs to put herself first on the list. So that brings us in how we fix this. How we fix this is we put Debbie first. I was listening to an amazing podcast called Making Oprah. And if you haven't to it, please do. It's fantastic. They were talking about an old episode that Oprah had done. I can't remember who the guest was. It was like an author. And this was back in the 90s when women did not put themselves first. And this author said, I want you to put yourself first. And the audience literally booed the woman. They booed her because they thought it was so crazy that a woman should put her own needs, desires, self-care ahead of her family. So dated Debbie needs to start thinking about herself first. This does not mean that you ignore your family or not pay your bills because you wanna go shopping, but I want all the Debbies out there to think about how much better you could show up in the world for yourself, for your family, for your career, for everything, if you felt better about yourself. It's not about being a fashion plate, it's about welcome to, welcome to 2018, Debbie. <laughs> like, join us, will you? And thinking about how you can just feel a lot better about yourself if you actually just take that effort to try to put on a new outfit, to take yourself shopping for the afternoon and be like, you know what, we're getting a sitter today. I'm going out, Debbie's having a shopping trip. That's the first step towards feeling better and looking better. And the cool thing about Data Debbie's is it's like a whole new world out there when you go to the store. Anything you put on will be better than what you had. So that is my challenge to all of the Data Debbie's out there. Um, give it a whirl, let me know how it goes. If you identify with that style type, don't fret, there is a solution. Identifying the problem is the first step. So that is today's anti-style type. If you identify with Data Debbie, don't trip. There is a solution. Remember, the clothing is a symptom to a larger problem, but the fix is easy and it's fun. It's fashion. So thank you so much for tuning in and catch me in the next video where we'll be on to the next style type.